How's it going everyone? So today we're going to give you a breakdown of the brand new feature that we launched, the custom tab, where you can completely custom build your own PC. We'll show you kind of like how it works, a little bit of the benefits, like who benefits most from it, whether it's like what are the pros of going with this versus building yourself, what's better at building yourself. So we'll kind of try to break some things down and give you an example build to show you exactly how it works. Our whole goal here is to try to get you the most performance for your money out of a pre-built PC. The new custom tab is kind of taking that to another level, making it so you get the most performance, but you also have the ability to choose all your parts and kind of make your own build. So that's kind of what we wanted to do is we're always trying to launch new features and find new ways to help like benefit the gaming community and create more value for people. And so this is one of the new things we launched that we're super excited about. It just adds like a, a, a totally different aspect to, to our PCs and the different stuff that we have. Well, building a PC yourself isn't insanely difficult. There's definitely a couple things that can go wrong, especially if it's your first time. Um, so if you're an avid, avid builder, you've built hundreds of PCs, like building yourself isn't difficult. You can do it within, within an hour or so. But if it's your first time building, it can take some time, especially knowing that uh, doing all the research on all the parts uh, and everything that you need, what's gonna go together well, what's gonna work, uh, and then the, obviously the build process itself, downloading Windows and any other software. And then the worst part is, God forbid, if you have any, have any troubleshooting issues you have to go through, then that's a whole other thing where you have to try to deal with troubleshooting your PC and figuring out, okay, what's wrong with it, what's not. So we eliminate all of that with the custom tab. Now, building yourself is usually a little bit cheaper. Um, I mean, we charge the price of the parts and then a flat $99 build fee. What that build fee though covers is you have no effort that you have to put in on your side. There's no risk. Uh, you just get to choose the parts you want and know that it's gonna arrive to you built, stress tested, warrantied, and ready to go. That's kind of our whole thing is you still get to choose and you save any headache any worry, any time um, of something going wrong or what it goes into building your own. So this is version like 1.2 of the custom tab. Now, when you're looking at it, we may at some point, depending when you're looking at this, we may have changed some of the styling and things like that, but this is how it is right now. All right, so it starts off asking you to choose your case. So as you can see, you get your cases here. You can slide back and forth and look at a few different options. I'm gonna do the one that we have right next to us, which is, where is it? It's this one, Game DS, this one here, the Talos M1A. I love this case a lot. I think it's super, super sweet. It's got like the RGB on the side as well as the two fans in the front. It's got like the tempered glass side and front. So I really like this one, so we're gonna do that. So the next option you have is it lets you choose between Ryzen or Intel. So you can choose your processor based on what you want. So once you click on Ryzen, it'll then show you uh, the option to click between Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, or even Ryzen 9. So we're gonna do Ryzen 7. All right, so here you've got three Ryzen 7 options. This is something that's really cool, which we're one of the main, the few people that do it. And so we don't just offer like the newest, most expensive processor. We offer a, the, the newest one as well as a couple generations back. That way, if you want to get the most performance for your money, buying the newest, most expensive stuff usually isn't it. To be honest, like for example, a Ryzen 2700 is a super, super powerful processor, much less expensive than the 3700, and it's going to be totally fine for what you're doing regardless of what it is whether you're streaming, video editing, the 2700 gonna be fine. Even the 1700X is gonna be totally solid. Like for example, the 1700X can handle like a 2080, even a 2080 Ti. And like this processor, when it came out in probably like 2018, um, was like $400 and it's now like $230 right here. So I love the last gen stuff, the stuff that's a couple generations old, just cause you get so much more performance for your money. So I'm choosing that one. Um, All right, now when it comes down to motherboards, it's kind of up to you on how crazy you wanna go. Uh, it's good to get a motherboard that has like four dims, uh, four slots for RAM. Uh, the, the other stuff is, is kind of neat. Like for example, this X570 comes with like uh, RGB and things like that. To be honest though, this B450 here, it has two RAM slots, but it'll support up to 32 gigs of RAM. And like, you really don't need more than 32 gigs of RAM. It also has M.2 support and I'm going for that if I wanted to go to the B450 Aorus which has some RGB on it it's an extra 45 bucks not worth it to me so I'm going with the B450 next thing you'll see then is we've got the GPUs and so the GPUs start with like an RX 470 and go all the way up to a 2080 Ti now it's kind of up to your opinion on what GPU you want you'll kind of know a little bit about what it is um, and what's what's going to be the best for you uh, there's a few like the, the a lot of people always ask us okay should I go with something like a GTX 1080 or is it better to go with an RTX card and so I actually had a GTX 1080 and then I upgraded to an RTX 2080 now I got a little bit more performance I probably got an extra maybe 
30 FPS in my games, maybe 20 to 30. But to be honest, for the extra price, it really wasn't worth it to go from a, tw a 1080 to a 2080. Now you have ray tracing, which is kind of cool, but not that many games like fully, fully utilize it. And so if you're going to buy a PC, it's kind of up to you if you want to go with something that's RTX or stick with maybe a GTX 1080. Like, for example, a, an RT a GTX 1080 and an RTX 2070 are like neck and neck will get you like the same FPS. Obviously, RTX has ray tracing, GTX doesn't, but they'll get you like the same FPS. If you want to get 240 FPS on Fortnite, they'll both do it. So I myself, and you can see the, the 1080 is like 100 bucks cheaper. So I myself, I'm going with the 1080, best bang for your buck. All right, cool. Now it comes down to RAM. So obviously the best thing to do, 16 gigs is kind of like, I wouldn't call it like the standard. Eight gigs is usually fine for a lot of gaming, especially if you're trying to make a more budget leveled system. Eight gigs is totally fine to get you up and going. You can always add more. 16 gigs is a good mid-level option. Even with a system like this with a 1080, uh, I would still go with 16 gigs. Uh, you could go with 32, but it might be a bit overkill. Eight gigs would obviously be too little. So I'm gonna go with 16, and I'm gonna go with this XPG 3200 because the dual channel is gonna be really good for the AMD processor and it's RGB. So I'm for sure going with the RGB. All right, the power supplies. So we offer a ton of different power supplies here. So 450 to 1000 watt Corsairs. Um, and so a lot of people think you need an insanely powerful power supply. Now, in most cases, you really don't need to go as crazy as most people think. So like, for example, this system with a with a Ryzen 7 that has like 16 threads and a, uh, a 1080, honestly, a 550 watt would work. Now, to be safe, I'd probably say go with a, with a 650 watt because it's not that much more expensive. Um, so I'd say go with the 650 watt. You could do the 750 if you really, really wanted, but honestly, the 650 watt's gonna be totally fine for it. Um, it's it's You're still gonna have a little, you're not gonna be maxing it out or anything. So it's a very stable thing to have. So next thing in line is coolers. So everywhere from, we obviously have the stock AMD cooler, um, and then you can add a one that's kind of like the stock one, but has RGB. You can add the Hyper 212 Evo, a full tower RGB cooler, and then we get into water cooler and some uh, AIOs. And so you can see there's single fans, the 120 millimeters to the dual fans. Most people think with a Ryzen, you'd, like a Ryzen 7, you'd have to have a water cooler. You really don't, like even the stock AMD cooler will work for Ryzen. I don't know if it work for a Ryzen 7. I don't know if maybe I do like a ton of overclocking. That might not be the best thing, but just for like as the processor sits, the stock cooler would work. I'd say maybe go with like this tower RGB one just so you know that you have, it's gonna stay cool. But I'm gonna go with this, this AIO here because it's not super expensive and it is a pretty pretty powerful processor just to be safe, plus if you want to overclock it. Now we have storage, you have your standard uh, SATA SSDs, then you have NVMe SSDs. So I'm gonna choose a 512, you have whatever you want there, you can choose anything from 128 to one terabyte. Now for second storage, I'm gonna add something else, maybe like a one terabyte hard drive, that should be totally fine. All right, and the last thing that we offer here is to add Windows. So you have the option to just have Windows just installed and unactivated, that way it's completely installed, ready to go, uh, and you just have to turn your computer on and play, or you can choose to have it activated if you want. Now, um, you really don't need to activate Windows. You, the worst thing that happens when you don't activate Windows is you have like a little watermark in the corner, plus you can't change some settings. I'm sure Microsoft heavily recommends that you activate it, and it's kind of up to you, um, but even if you have unactivated Windows, you can still game and do absolutely everything on your computer. All right, so that's pretty much that, and uh, catch you next time. Next line. While building a PC yourself isn't like insanely difficult, it <laughs> shit just kicked on. <laughs> that should be fine. All right, ready? Is it working? Uh, keep your chin. Yeah, 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 I said Ron Jeremy, not Clam. I'm gonna drop your ass in a ditch.